Hello folks and welcome to uh, Senior Night here at Woodward Academy. Today we'll be uh, commentating the girls varsity basketball game. I am your host, Sideline Shale. And I am Cam Andre with the color. And uh, we're going to have a wonderful game between the Woodward Academy War Eagles and the St. Pikes Golden Lions. Looks like uh, we got a pretty good lineup here for the uh, girls team. We got uh, number 21, who is Alexandria Williams. We got number 20, Maddie Richardson. And uh, number 10, Tiana Grisham. Who's in a the, senior. Uh, front court. She's uh, Ooh, in a blocking foul. Starting off quick with the fouling on the St. Pius part. Two shots for number 23 for St. Pius. We got eight minute periods here. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. Woodward Academy has committed their first foul. And it's good. Nothing but net. And she hits the second. Woodward inbounds the ball. They're dribbling up the court. They better get it crossed fast, and they do. Senior Tiana Grisham has the ball. She's currently at the top of the key, trying to call play. She passes it. Number 44 has it, passes it to 21. 20 gets the ball. 44's got it once again at the top of the key. Tiana's got it in the paint. Passes to the wing. Tiana thought about the pull-up right there. But she checked it. Uh-oh, 20 wide open shot. Ah, oh, just and clanks off the rim. Offensive board for the War Eagles. Tiana resets it. 20's dribbling on the wing. She passes it down low to number 21. Oh, with the contact, no good. No call, too. Number 25 for the Golden Lions, dribbling it down the court. Oh, she loses the handle, but she regains it. Oh, oh, throws it just directly out of bounds. That almost hit Coach Crook out there. Ah, uh, the crookie monster. Tiana gets the ball in bounds. She's currently in the backcourt. Looking for a call from the coach. She brings it over half court. She's still got the ball. Ooh, thought about the shot. Oh, she get her pass gets intercepted and the easy layup is converted by number 23 for St. Pius. The Golden Lions go up 4-0 with 6-19 left in the first quarter. Oh, and number 21 just takes it to the rack. What a beautiful move. Oh, uh, just totally going through him. Oh, but Pius is right back down. Oh, and what, an what a block. block. And look at Tiana Grissom leaking out the front court. Oh. And that should be Woodward ball. Yeah, and it stays down here. Woodward's got the ball. Going to inbound it from their own side. Tiana Grissom to inbound. You think they'll call a set player? Oh, they call timeout. And, uh... We'll be uh, right back. And here we are, we're back. Coming off a little 30 second timeout by the uh, St. Pius Golden Lions. So far they've shown that they got a little bite. We're uh, waiting for the refs to hand the ball over so Tiana can inbounds it. And here goes Tiana, you think they'll call a set play here? I don't know. Oh, and 44 gets oh. it. Ooh, 
Loses it for a second, passes it out. Same a teams. little bit of confusion there. They get the ball, though. Tiana's dribbling at the top of the key. Looks like she's calling out of play. She looks vicious up yeah. there. She's mm. calling for the pick, but doesn't get it. She is not a girl I'd like to mess with. Golden Lions defending pretty well. Ooh, oh, good pass and cut. Oh, just couldn't get the layup to go. Mm. Pius is pushing it up the court. They got a wide open girl. Oh, she loses the handle. And it's St. Pius ball out of bounds. Say the call is deflected off of Tiana Grissom. Great job she did there breaking up that easy layup as we thought it would be. Ooh. Ooh left a wide open jump shot for number 25 and she drains it. Man, that looked too easy almost. Splashed it in there. All right, they're in the corner right Ooh, now. Maddie Richardson Ooh. taking it to the rim, but gets stripped. She had nowhere to go with that ball. Tried a little press D there, didn't work out. St. Pius has the ball on the wing, pushing up the oh, court. Oh, and a little Euro oh. step. Oh. A little Euro step action there, but misses the layup. Grisham's pushing up hard. Yeah. Maddie Richardson oh. kicks it back, but uh -oh. turns the ball over again. And St. Pius, Ooh. that's a foul. Grisham got real mean with that one. And uh, Tiana Grisham is called for the foul. There will be two shots, two shots. Pius has looked pretty good in the start of this game, huh? Yeah, Cam, they've come out uh, scoring strong, and they've been uh, making it pretty hard for the War Eagles to make easy passes with their strong defense. Very stingy, very yes. stingy. Indeed. Stingy is a good word. That's a great word to describe these St. Pius Golden Lions. Thank you. Thank you. And the second free throw is good. Meow. And, uh, uh, subbing in is number three for St. Pius Golden Lions. All right, Woodward's got the ball at St. Pius' side. They're about to start dribbling up the court. Oh, and Tiana brings up the pace a bit. And she stops at the top of the key, passes it to number 21, who is Alexandria Williams, who passes it to number 44, Ashari. Shar Shar, as we call her. Oh, Tiana. She goes up for the, the floater. floater. And oh. just rims out. A little bit too much on that one. That was just mean with that bucket happened there. Oh, Ooh, nice man. little no-look pass and cut play action. Here we go. Pushes it back out to the top of the key for St. Pius. There's 4-11 left in this quarter, the first one. The score is currently 8-2 Pius. Ooh, a little pull-up does not go. Fighting for the ball down there, and it goes out of bounds. Whose ball is it, Shale? I believe it's St. Pius' ball. Indeed it is. Uh, the Golden Lions inbound it up, oh, but turned over. What a terrible pass. And Grissom has the ball. She's bringing it down the court. Oh. Passes it to Maddie Richardson for Wide three. Oh. And it's no good. It's just frustrating seeing so many great opportunities squandered by these Warriors. Absolutely. Oh, oh. beautiful no-look pass by number 25 Man, for the who Golden is Lions. This, who is this mystery number 25? Well, uh, I don't know, but if I did... Oh, what a beautiful to pass it. out there to Wide open three. Just goes in and out. Ooh. Pius grabs the offensive board. And 25 with a step back jump shot and nothing but net. That fadeaway jumper is just pure as can be. And Grissom uh, bounce pass to Maddie Richardson. Who gets, who gets stuffed. Oh, oh, and another. Golden Lions grab the board and they're pushing it. Off of an air ball by the War Eagles. You know what we really need, Shay? We, need, we really need the War Eagle cheerleaders to start pumping up the crowd. Pius is really controlling these guys. Definitely. Oh, and that just happened. Wow, 32 with the rim just letting it in today. And the score is still 12 to two with 2.49 left in the first quarter. 21 gets Bounce. the ball. Bounce pass to Maddie Richardson, who lets go just inside the arc, but comes up short. 
She started off cold, but I feel like she can really heat up fast. Well, uh, if Woodward's going to uh, get back in this game, they're going to have to stop the transition. Yeah, really just not because working out for them right Pius now. Pius is killing them on the transition, and they got to come down with the turnovers and ill-advised shots. Currently have a timeout called by the War Eagles as they are down 2-14 to 14 now in this first quarter. What do you think about the boys' game later on, Shale? Who do you like in that one? Well, I'm obviously for the home crowd here. It's senior night. Being a senior, Calif. Got to go for the War Eagles. That offense that the uh, St. Pius Golden Lions runs pretty confusing. Have you been able to keep up with it on tape? Not at all. Neither have I. Neither have I. But that, then again, that's why I'm commentating and not playing. Absolutely. I'm really hoping Shar Shar can heat up. Number 44, Shar uh, Hawkerson for the uh, Woodward Academy War Eagles. She really has the game. It just sometimes it just doesn't work out. All right, and it looks like uh, the refs are gathering both teams back on the court after the timeout. Did you see that JV boys game earlier? I did not. Did you? Oh, yes, I did. It came right down to the wire, and in the end, the War Eagles were able to pull it out over the St. Pius Golden Lions. It was a nail-biter, that is for sure. Teams are trading threes back and forth. It was a beautiful game. And here we go. Woodward's Academy is inbounding it. They successfully do it. A little bit of press D by the St. Pius team. Uh, Richardson's dribbling back and forth. This girl can't hang with her. She's still got the ball, dribbling around, trying to get see somebody open. She, she picked up someone. her dribble. Oh, and number 31 gets the ball, passes out to Tiana at the top of the key, number 10. Richardson gets the ball again, calling for a play, and she just dribbles in, passes out to Shari. Oh, oh Tiana. Tiana with a deep three oh. in and out. Should be, should be War Eagles ball. All right, and they catch a break here. But they don't. It's Pius's ball. Oh, he called it the wrong way and then changed it at the last second. That's disappointing, disappointing. Uh-oh, 25 just leading it in there. Oh, and she misses the... A wide-open layup. Oh, that's why you got to work on your left hand just as much as your right hand, Shale. Absolutely. Oh, easy jumper at the top of the key. And she Switched makes it. it. Hey. It's currently 4-14 four to 14 now. Transition game's really hurting. Oh, 25 pulls up from three, but loses the board to number 10, Tiana Grissom, who ill-advisedly gets it to 25, who flops and ends up going out of bounds. Oh, what a play by Tiana. She really was able to sell that one to the refs. Absolutely. And the War Eagles will uh, inbounds the ball. Do we have any uh, buddy for a halftime show, Shale? Do you know that? I'm not quite sure what the halftime show, but I'm sure it can be. It'll be quite the extravaganza. I hope it is. Girls are dribbling out. They're doing a classic offensive moves. Dribble inside. Oh, and she draws the foul, number 21, Alexandria Williams. She's going to the line for two. Hopefully, uh, she's been pretty consistent from the line, so yeah, hopefully she can. Isn't her season statistics like 43%? Something like that. Yeah, it's very good, very good. And need, she drains the first one. You do need every freebie you can get, and that's essentially what these are, free shots. Three points to just, just for the taking. Number 30 checks in. Uh, Madison Magara. First substitution made by the War Eagles today. Oh, and she misses, and it comes right back out. St. Pius recovers the ball, and they are pushing up real quick. Number 12 dribbles in. Oh, number 24. 24. Wide open layup, but just cannot handle it. Oh, whoa, whoa, and whoa. And a foul on number three. And that should, I don't think she had anyone else in front of her, so. That, that, was, that was just rude. That was very that was, rude. That was a very, very risque trip. Oh, I like that word. Oh, and McGarrow's wide open for the shot. And, and she drains it. Drains it. She drains 41 it. seconds left in this period, guys. And the War Eagles cut it the lead to seven. 
As the score is 14 to seven. They're currently on it. Five to zero run in the past two and a half minutes. Really after their offense started off so cold, they have heated up. Oh, travel, travel. Good call by the refs. She shuffled her feet there. And he and the ref sprints back down the court, getting ready for the next play. I love it. Tiana's holding the ball. She's dribbling down the court with authority. You can definitely tell this is her team, right, Shale? She's oh. clearly the star player on this team. She loses the ball, and uh, I'm not sure what the call is on this one. Seems like it's a foul on Tiana. That's unfortunate. That's she her second foul. And she does not need to rack up the fouls early in the game. There's 5.6 left, seconds left in this period, guys, and St. Pius about and to inbound and the ball. it looks like Tiana's going to have to sit down with her two personal fouls. You gotta, you gotta save her for later, you know? 25 dribbles in, does a little floater, misses, and then misses the putback. And that's the end of the first period, guys. We'll see you in a couple minutes as the cheerleaders take the floor. And here's a message from our sponsors. back folks. Woodward has inbounded the ball and they're running a really good offensive tempo right now. Cutting and everything. With Tiana out they've really started to move the ball more and really gotten away from those isos. They shoot the ball and they miss and St. Pius recovers. Pushing up the court and you know what they decide to stop and play a little half court offense. Have you been a scout in St. Pius at all Shale? Not really Cam but uh I have been watching Woodward this season, and oh, good move and good pass, but just, just St. Pius is just blowing it on these wide open layups, just cannot convert. And 31 really pushes down the court, then has an ill-advised pass. The 25 just bring it back up, and beautiful left-hand layup, folks. Beautiful left-hand layup. Oh, and Magara passes to no one, and St. Pius recovers, and... Number 25, 23 for St. Pius just puts it right back up and they score just like that. Magara is not inbounding this time, guys. Oh, a little press D works out and she throws an elbow there. You can't do that. And they don't let it happen. The refs call foul number 15 for throwing a little chin music. And uh, Woodward's getting the ball just inside their half court. Score is 7-18 to 18 with Woodward trailing in the second quarter. 6.42 left in this one, folks. Oh, and Maddie Richardson dribbles it right off her foot. 23's got a wide open layup for St. Pius, folks, and she connects. It's too easy. It's just too easy. St. Pius has been playing great defense, making it hard for Woodward to even make an easy pass. And uh, since Tiana Grissom has come out the game, it's changed, but she's back in now. And Woodward scores on a quick transition layup. They really just caught the St. Pius line sleeping on that one. St. Pius is currently in the half court offense. Oh, number 15 connects from downtown with the tray.
Tiana's calling a play. She's up top. She passes it to Maddie Richardson. Richardson's dribbling around. Ooh, she go, fakes one way, goes the other. She pushes off and gets a little room. She passes it to number 31. 31 puts up the long J, and she misses. 23 connect, gets the ball for St. Pius, and they push it up the court. 25 with the ball. Oh, almost traveled in my opinion, and oh, there, yeah. the ref calls it. Yeah. The ref calls it. Yeah, she kind of tried to fake like she was passing, and yep, she kind of passed to herself. You can't do that in basketball, guys. Tiana with the ball up the court. Just reaches half court. Comes down to the top of the key. I'd really like to see Tiana push it more, you know? She's, she's, not, she's a not easy person to guard when she is moving fast with her ball handling Saint, skills. St. Pius has really been pushing the ball up and down the court trying to get into the fast break, but I feel like Woodward's getting lazy a little bit and almost tired this early in the game. Because as you can see, St. Pius is just playing the fast break beautifully right now. And another layup for St. Pius. Folks, if Woodward doesn't adjust soon, this one could just get out of hand. It's currently 25 to nine. I repeat, 25 to nine. Tiana really has to take over this game. And, oh. 21 gets the rebound off the missed shot. Oh, she and she just gets fouled. hacked by number 23 from St. Pies. And uh, she'll be shooting two at the stripe. And that is my fault, folks. It is actually number 31 from St. Pies. It's a really fun game. I have not had the ch chance to watch the War Eagles play up until now. And I really like what they got in talent-wise, and they're young. That's the key. They're young. You're absolutely right, Cam, with uh, with um, Tiana Grissom being the only senior on the varsity basketball team. It shows that uh, Woodward is currently in the rebuilding process and has uh, many, many uh, years to build a good contending team. Number 21, Alexandria Williams. She connects on two three free throws. And guess what, folks? The bank is open because both of those came off the glass. Number 15's got the ball in the corner. Pass number 25. Pass 30. Pass 23. 23 puts up the shot, and it is no Air good. ball, but Woodward's really got to rebound better because it is not happening. St. Pius is killing them on the offensive boards. They just got a jump ball here, and St. Pius keeps it. That was just not a good rebounding effort by the War Eagles. They really got to step their game up. If they want to get back into this game, Cam, they really got to make a, make a, a run right now because going into halftime with a lead like this, it could be uh, pretty bad. They just need the momentum. And oh, and Number 25. 25 just drains it from three ball. I think a good nickname oh. for her would be Wonder Woman because it is amazing what she's pulling off right now. St. Pius just seems like their just talent is just way too much for the War Eagles to handle right now. And another. You know, I heard from a little birdie on the varsity boys basketball team that number 25 is actually one of the top players in the country. So that might explain why she is just dominating in all facets of the game right now. Woodward used to have the number two player in the nation, Diamond to Shields, but she left to pursue her career at Norcross High School. They let her slip away, which was unfortunate for their program. It really hurt them. Ooh, and Maddie Richardson just gets hit in the face with the ball, but she regains control, and she dribbles into the corner, passes out to number 31, she dribbles inside, and passes to nobody. Nobody. Quick Abs foul was committed, though, by St. Pius, and Woodward will keep the ball down at their end. Oh, there's actually going to be foul shots on this one, huh? No, never mind. The refs are really confused right now. It's kind of cute. 31 with the inbounds pass. Tiana Grissom with the ball. And it looks like the... St. Pies Golden Nines are playing a 2-3 defense, but they haven't been able, to, the War Eagles haven't been able to find that open pass yeah. in the 2-3 to break it up. The key to the 2-3 is good, good, good 
three-point shooting, and the War Eagles just have not been able to sustain any amount of, pro of progress in that category. You're absolutely right, Cam. They haven't been able to find the hole or kick it out to the open shooter. And when they do kick it out to the open shooter, the open shooter isn't able to make the shot, which is really killing the War Eagles right now. You think they uh, mold their defense from Syracuse's awesome defense? Probably. Jim Beheim is a genius, that is for sure. And uh, number 25 is just absolutely killing it out here. She is draining it from three. She's having her way with them right now. And St. Pius recovers a missed field goal. And 25. Number 25 again. Guess who? Boom! Guess who? Draining it from three. You know, I really and wish we knew her name because she's somebody I would want to watch and keep an eye on in the future. I wonder if she's committed to any colleges. What do you think? I don't know. we got to figure out what grade she is in first. For With a game like that, she better be playing in college. I definitely think she will be after hitting back-to-back three-pointers. With uh, 2.14 left in the uh, second quarter, just before halftime, the score is your Woodward War Eagles 13, St. Pius Golden Lions 34. A quick timeout has been taken by the uh, Woodward Academy War Eagles. They're trying to recuperate from this devastating deficit they are facing. They're down by 21, folks. Yeah, you heard me right, 21. Not 12, 21. And uh, play is set to resume as the buzzer has sounded. St. Pius is just very intimidating with their all-star lineup. All right, and the War Eagles have inbounded the ball, and they are bringing it up court with Tiana at the point guard position. She passes it off to 20. Maddie who gives it right back to Tiana. Tiana tries to penetrate, gets nothing, and uh, we can just guess right now as to what they are thinking. Ball is out on the wing. Not much is happening right now as they cannot penetrate. And the Tiana with a deep three and just too long hits the Back iron. Really just the story of the night so far for the Warriors with 136 left in this quarter. And all of a sudden, Pius is right in there and they miss a quick shot from down low. And if, if the War Eagles really want to come back in this game, Tiana Grissom has to take over. All right, Maddie, we want you to do something here. I know you can't hear us, but we're cheering for you loud and proud. All right, 21, Alexander Williams just goes right to the rim, but she misses Air balls. the shot. Just, it, was a, it was a promising look in the beginning, but never, and oh, nothing ever happened. Oh, 25 with the beautiful move oh, behind man. her back and step back jump shot. I'm sad to say she just embarrassed Woodward on that play. Embarrassed. She's got the hot hand right now, and it looks like... Golden Lions are going to ride it for as long as it, they can. Without a doubt, without a doubt. I'm pretty sure she's their season leader in points per game with a healthy average of 21. Found that out by looking on the on the uh, St. Pius website. I had to do the calculations myself, seeing each, each game how many points she racks up. Absolutely. It took a while, but... And uh, Woodward's going to try and hold it for the last shot of the quarter with uh, 20 seconds left. Yes. Score is 13-36, to 36, Tiana Grissom. At the top of the key, Maddie Richardson with the ball. Back to Tiana Grissom. Tiana, Tiana studying their defense. Oh, with the pull up, and, and she, she drains, drains it. it. With five seconds left, St. Pius, number 25, dribbling down the court. Can she get the shot off? She does, but an air ball. And, and that's, that's halftime, folks. We'll see you later in just a few moments. Enjoy the show from the Woodward Academy War Eagle cheerleaders. We'll be right back. Hey! 
And we're back. Folks, if you see anybody dressed up in a crazy costume, don't worry. They're not actually crazy. It's just 
tonight we have Adrenaline Hush for the boys game. You want to explain that one, Shale? Well, the Adrenaline Hush is when, in honor of the seniors graduating in the year 2013, which would be this year, the entire fan base of the Woodward Academy War Eagles for the boys game will be completely silent until the 13th point is scored. Which at that point, the entire gymnasium will go into an outburst of shenanigans. I'm pretty sure there might be some toilet streamers going everywhere. We will just have to find out. Well, anyways, back to the St. Pius girls game. 25 has the rock, and she is just making a fool of Maddie Richardson, who runs right through a pick, and 15 gets the ball, dumps it down low to number 20, who just puts up an awful shot and gets the putback and jars it. Makes that deficit even bigger for the War Eagles, and it, right now you got to say, uh-oh, if you're a War Eagle fan. It's currently 38-15 right now in the third quarter. Oh, 31 puts up the shot, and it clanks off the front of the rim. 25, as usual, gets the rebound, but she passes it out, out and it is deflected out of bounds by the Wood, Woodward Academy War Eagles. But as I was saying earlier, the War Eagle fan base, all of the students are dressed up in outfits today just for the heck of it. And um, there's some pretty crazy characters. I think I see a penguin down there right now. Our SGA uh, member, David Andriotti, giving him a little shout out on, the, on air. Oh, and St. Pius just, of course, gets right in there and 23 just puts in an easy layup off the glass. Shale? What are you thinking right now for the War Eagles? They, well, I'm thinking that it's going to be a long second half for the War Eagles trying to dig out of this deficit. Um, whether it's possible or not, the way they're shooting is a different story, but they have heart, they have soul, so hopefully they can get the job done. And they do. They hit the shot, and the score goes up to 17-40. To and that deficit is... Only 23, guys. Only 23. The War Eagle cheerleader is trying to pump up the crowd, but 25 gets the ball. She dumps it right back off. The 23 is at the top of the key. 15 gets the ball on the wing. Oh, Tiana creates a little, little turnover. And uh, there's a foul on 23 by St. Bias for the push-off. War Eagle ball. Try to cut that deficit even lower. With it being at 23 right now. Maddie Richardson takes the inbounds, crosses half court. Oh, nearly traveled there. Oh, and 21 gets the ball, and she tries to go up for a nice little shot, but it clanks off the rim, and 25 dishes it off no to 23. Pass. Oh, that was beautiful. Man, she should play for the boys' team. Probably help them out, because they're going to load of trouble tonight. Oh, and they called that an offensive foul against the War Eagles. The charge. That looked like a bit of a blocking foul to me, but I don't think the defender's feet were properly set before they came over. Oh, what a beautiful pass, but number 30 just could not hang on to that <laughs> easy pass and loses the ball out of bounds. Oh, uh, that look on her face, she was just devastated by that one. Someone's gonna have to come get the ball. There's a little bit of confusion right here because Maddie Richardson, the point guard, is inbounding the ball. Ooh, looks a little testy there on the throwback by number 31, Willingham. So it looks like some of the seniors dressed up in their costumes are making their way to the stands. Oh, and 21. Alexandria, she has a beautiful late uh, turnaround shot that goes in. The War Eagles are coming out here a lot better than they were, but just cannot stop number 25, who is hammering them in the paint. Honestly, it kind of seems like they're just toying with them at this point. Oh, almost a kick ball by St. Pius, but Woodward Academy keeps the rock. Tiana tries to find an open lane, and she cannot right now. She's handling it in the corner currently. She passes it up top. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dishes the rock back to Tiana. Tiana goes up for the J, and Drano, a long two-pointer for Tiana Grisham there, folks. Man, it is just electrifying seeing her put up some of these shots. 
And the lead is still 23. And that is the only issue. Even though they're starting to heat up on the offensive side, they have not done one thing to stop them on the defensive side. St. Pi is currently in their half-court offense. A lot of passing is involved in this one. Oh, and 15 gets a wide open three that does not go in. Maddie Richardson gets the ball. She's pushing up top. 44 gets the ball. She's going in for the layup. And oh, she and she is she's just swatted away by number 23. Denied. And there's 3.55 to go in this third quarter. The War Eagles down 21 to 44. They called a foul on that one? Wow. Which I guess she got embarrassed so bad they had to call it. All right, 44, Drano on the first one. Cut that deficit at 22, 22. All right, here's a chance to cut it to 21, which would really just help out the War Eagles. And she's... Oh, oh, and it just rims out, and the rebound goes to St. Pius. Uh oh they got the Saint numbers Pius right now. It up the floor. 25 passes, and it's denied. 30 is just having a wild, outrageous game. Uh-oh, 25 waited, and is she going to dunk it? No, but she lays it in anyway. Man, she 25 is 25 is on a mission to shut out the War Eagles in this third quarter. Well, she hasn't succeeded in that mission, but she has come awfully close. Tiana puts up a wild shot, which clanks off the rim, and 25 pushes it. No look past it, number 23, who goes up with the rock. And, and one. And one. What a layup. So, folks, we got a couple seniors coming in. Ford Croft in a big giant suit. I don't even know what that is. Is that a hot dog? Whatever it is, he took it off because he was embarrassed by it. And here comes the free throw. Number 23, the and one is good. That it really hurts the War Eagles as the deficit is now 27. That's more than a quarter of a hundred. And I don't know, with only 3.15 left in the third, if the War Eagles can pull off this monumental comeback. Oh, a beautiful little pass to number 21 who does a beautiful little floater from in the lane. 25, I'm telling you, is on a mission. She is not going to let this game get it. She don't. You would say she's hot-dogging it, but she's doing it so well that you cannot call it that. Oh, how do you call that ref? Ref gets in the way of the pass, and he, he lets St. Bias keep it. 20 had a clear chance of getting that ball, though. That's just unfortunate. 20 almost swats it away again. St. Bias got the ball up top. 23 has got it in the corner, corner, corner. She dribbles inside. Oh, and, and a turnover by the Golden Lions. Meow. Um, I wonder if uh, St. Woodward can do anything on this next possession. It's a key possession, in my opinion, being down 25. And honestly, with the Meow way they're playing, they, they really need to get a run right here. And Maddie Richardson with a nice Meow move to the... To the... To the rim. To the rim. That's the word you were looking for. You and I both got lost on that one, Shale. Oh, man, I cannot believe that little foul. That was a lot of low shoulders there by the St. Pius Golden Lions. And, uh, meow, I cannot believe that they actually called that a defensive foul. And, uh, meow, as we get ready for all this, for the boys game. This, There's this crowd's becoming packed. With uh, uh, two minutes, the score meow. is 26 wow. to 49 in the third quarter. Long pass to Maddie Richardson, just barely stays in bounds. Man, she saved one of those cheerleaders a nice little injury by catching that ball on time. Number 10, Tiana Grisham's got it up top and uh, yeah, she really needs to uh, figure out a way to penetrate this stifling defense. She passes it, number 31, who puts up a long but two. it's short. It's all right, though, is if they can just hold them right here. But, oh, what a pass to number 40 Travel. who travels. She's got to learn to put the rock on the ground if she doesn't want to get called for that one. She's walking everywhere. It looks like St. Pius just emptied out their bench. And I am not surprised by this move, being up so much, so early. Hey. 
and Woodward Academy is down in their half-court offense. Tiana puts up the long three, and it just rattles around, but Alexandria gets the rebound and gets the putback. Great what offensive board. beautiful board. shot. Meow. Oh, 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 oh. Turns the ball. Oh, oh, oh. This is the handle. Oh, 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 oh. What happened there? What happened there? I don't know, Cap. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Wow, I thought they had a chance to get the ball in. Whoa. A little technical foul called? How do you call that? How do you call that? Who's the technical foul called on? It's on the coach. What? Oh, Coach Robbie Lawrence with the technical foul. The daughter of the famed chaplain Lawrence, who's got a CD out, folks. If you want to buy it on iTunes, you can. It's uh, some beautiful music being made on that one. He's got a lovely, lovely voice, and he's the teacher of religion here. He's, he's, the, whole, he's the whole total package. He's quite the, quite the music officiant. Uh, Fishing Indeed he is. Indeed he is. And he's produced a couple great basketball players. Coach Lawrence played herself at Furman on a scholarship. How about that? And uh, technical foul shot being shot by number 25, who of course just swishes it. Nobody's around. It's not that hard to miss these. Man, she has got some great fundamentals, wouldn't you say, Shale? And he says, yes, he does. Yes, she does. All right, and now after making those two points, they are now Woodward has got the deficit of 23 currently with 58 seconds left in this quarter. 51-28. St. Pius has got the, the ball. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Jump ball. Jump oh. ball. It and looks like the War Eagles are getting the ball. No. Yes, yes the they War Eagles are. are getting the ball back. And a little bit of fortune coming their way. And a, with that quick turn of events. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Man, they are playing in front of a packed crowd right now. It is packed in this gym, man. Oh, what a beautiful pass with nobody around at the top of the key. Oh, and 30 thinks about shooting it, but she does not. And she gives it right back to Tiana, who's... 21 just, is just calling for that ball in the lane. She needs to get out of that lane every once in a while and make sure she doesn't call for another three-second violation. Tiana, Tiana's got to she she's wait for the last shot of the quarter. She looks like she's calling an ISO, but she passes it down to Alexandria, who's been crazy in there, and she drops it in for another two points. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we'll be right back, folks. We'll be right back. And we're back here with the start of the fourth quarter. Looking to get back in this game. I'm joined here with, uh, for those of you joining late to this broadcast, I'm here with Sam Andre and Sideline Shale. Oh, and a good steal. By Hannah Sidhu. She'll pull up. And, and gets packed. And Tiana for the open. Three, but it's short. 
you know, nothing's really falling right now. And number 25, who's just been on a monster of a game, just comes up short there. Ooh. And Tiana with a good move. Very shifty. Meow, and here we go with uh, St. Pius got the rock now with seven left in the quarter. And right now it's a blowout, oh, folks. Wow. And she tried to shoot that from directly under the basket and hit nothing but the but the rim. That was almost comical because it almost came right back into her face. Oh, Tiana goes up hard and she misses, but it's called. And But St. Pius is called for the blocking foul. All right, Tiana's here. She's going to shoot two real quick, two real quick. And uh, we are hoping she can cut into this deficit. Right now they are down by only 21, and she just clanks it off the rim. Uh, you need to make the freebies. You need to make the freebies, guys. That is for sure. Duck. She drains the second one. Man, it couldn't have gotten any prettier than that one, guys. And St. Pius is bringing it up top here. Number 23 for St. Pius has the rock, and she passes it up to 25, but throws it out of bounds. Even 25's powerful legs could not propel her high enough to grab that and as ball. More as more of the seniors come in. They're piling in right now. Piling in. Looks like we're headed for a great game here. St. Bias's offense is often boring to watch, but it does produce results in it. And this clash between the two boys teams is for the region championship as Magara puts up a shot that is blocked. But Tiana's deep. open for three and just in and out. Like a fast food so restaurant. Fortunate. In and out like a fast food restaurant. 25 or 23 is a nice little pass for 32, lays it in. That transition game once again just hurts this, the Woodward Academy Warriors by St. Bias. They were up by 22. Tiana doesn't know what to do with it. She passes to Maddie, who puts up the quick three and bangs it. Maddie Richardson for three. Three, folks, three. Oh, uh, St. Pius, number 25 for three. Oh, that was for two. For two. It's okay, though. We all make mistakes. Oh, Alexandria Williams with the putback. And she drains it and one. She will be going to the line. Shaya, what are you going to be dressing up for as a senior for this game? Well, since we're seniors, I decided to dedicate my, my costume to a senior. And I'll be dressing up as one of the, our starting center for the Woodward Academy War Eagles, Solomon Mangum. Oh, nice. I've got my I've got my Solomon jersey on, and I've got a uh, some couple of added knickknacks to go along with my costume, and it's gonna be great. What I about like you, it a lot. Cam? What about you? I'm wearing the Wilfred costume, you know. Thought I got it. Might as well put it on, and it is warm in this outfit. But you know what? It's worth it. Man, it did do with the. Who was that? What, what was that? With I don't even know what that was. That was just a horrible shot. Man, it, I, I felt the breeze from up here from that air ball. I'll be honest with you guys, that was not pretty to watch. <sighs> Meow, but uh, here we are, and the pass is brought up. And 25, as usual, gets it, and she throws it up. for Number three, who gets it to 15, who puts up the three-pointer, and it rattles around before she misses. And number 21 for Woodward Academy, Alexandria Williams commits the foul, trying to get the rebound. Honestly, folks, I hate to say it, but this game is kind of out of reach for the War Eagles. And it is disappointing. really thought they had a good chance going into this one, and I was astounded by the stifling defense of the St. Pius Lions. I have been proud, though, folks, of the War Eagles' resiliency in the and second Tiana half. And Tiana takes it straight to the rim and gets fouled on her way up. They did manage to put up more than double what they had earlier after halftime, folks, and that's something to be proud of, honestly. 
Not a lot of positives you can take from that this game, but that is one. Tiana's going to the foul line. She's got two. I repeat, two shots. With 4.50 left in the fourth quarter, the score is 38 to 57 with the St. Pius Golden Lions leading. And that is a beautiful shot as it hits the back of the rim and just goes straight down. St. Pius subs in some more players in this game. And uh, they're being cheered as they walk off the court. It's only an 18 point lead at this point though, Shale. Do you think if Woodward can get hot from downtown, they might be able to make something happen? Well, anything is possible as number 40 kicks it out to number 12. Uh-huh, that is true, that is true. And number 40 just loses the handle. She wow, she is just... She's, she does not look like she knows where she is right now. She might think this is like a field hockey game or something, which I know nothing about. As Maddie Richardson pushes the ball up the court, she's got Hannah Sidhu. She doesn't know what to do. But she passes it to Tiana Grissom, who thought about the spot up three. But and goes straight downtown to the... Rock down there, number 21, who's been the staple of this offense thus far. T the uh, War Eagles are get the ball back, and they pass it to guess who, number 21, who puts it up and gets fouled on the layup, and she does not make it because she was, once again, fouled on that attempt. Here goes Alexandria Williams. She looks a little stiff as she gets into that foul shot. Don't you think so, Shell? Absolutely. And hits the first one. That was very big as this lead is only 14 now. Can you believe that? Remember when it was 25? Only a couple minutes ago, Shale? Yes. Thank you for agreeing with me. Oh, and she clanks it off, but they get the offensive. No, they do not. Oh, no. And number 12 brings the ball up the court. There are just some wacky outfits I am seeing, folks, as people are piling in. I saw a cowgirl walk by, but I think it was a guy. Hannah Sidhu passes it up to Maddie Richardson, who's pulling it down the floor. She takes the contact and goes up. She hit Two that shots. padding hard. Two shots for Maddie Richardson. While we're here, we'd like to thank uh, Trayvon Broad for uh, coordinating this broadcast and his assistant, uh, Noodles Bielfeldt. Yes, indeed. And we got Elizabeth Ellis over here as the director of the cameras. We got uh, Devon Wallace, and he is currently doing stuff, and uh, he's filming. I don't even know what he's filming, but I just know he is. Quick timeout right now. Rod, Rod. And I think I hear some clapping right now. I don't know who it's from, but they're trying to get the crowd pumped. And I hope we can get some seats later today when the boys take on the girls. But right now it is a pack house. Maddie Richardson right now is going for two shots, two shots from the foul line. She's currently got a season's average of 58%. And you know what? I think it just went up a couple percentage points of that make. Absolutely. Maybe to 61. So at 3.46 left, Maddie Richardson is shooting her second free throw and drains it, thus making the score 44 to 57 with the St. Pius Lions leading by 13. St. St. Pius is trying to press, and you know what? They do. They have the ball up at the top of the key. Little Academy's trying to stop them from scoring as they want to get back in this game desperately. Oh man, 24 just looks like she is lost out there. She somehow gets it back out to the top of the key. Woodward really needs to start 
def defending a little bit better and up close and personal with the St. Louis Flyers. And it stays St. Pius ball as the ball is deflected off the War Eagle fingertips. Oh, and the St. Pius misses and gets their own rebound and they can't put it back up and successfully make a shot. Because you know what? It's the backups in right now, folks. Let's be quite honest. And you know what? Woodward brings the ball back up top and Tiana tries to get it in and oh, just misses. Oh, so close on that one. So, Shale, uh, what do you think about this? Well, I, th I don't think Woodward has much of a shot to really come back into this game. Um, he likes it behind the ears. I could, I could see them getting pretty close, but I don't think they'll make the full, complete comeback. Biceps on 32. Oh man. Whoa, whoa. A little bit of chaos going down there. And all of a sudden, 44 recovers it. And to Tiana Grissom, who's going to spot up and shoot the ball. And it's. Yet again, missed. So Yet again. Smart. Man, this court is going to be packed for the game tonight. Pushing it up. Woodward needs to create a little bit more chaos on the press if they want to get a turnover. Their 23 is just dribbling like it's nobody's business at the top of the key. She hands it off to 25, who's back in. There's a little nice behind the back move. She's Looks currently like got the ball. St. Pius is going to try and hold the ball as long as possible. Oh, what a beautiful move to get a wide open shot in. It does not connect, though, folks. Ooh, number 31 falls down as she passes, and 20 gets it in the corner, but whoa, it hits the backboard from the corner. Not that 25 easy is, to do. Woodward is bringing on the press as 25 tries to get it over the... What a 30 is fouled. Fouled. She was hacked. Hacked like a, like a pig in a butcher shop. Hacked. I know that's a little gruesome to hear, but sometimes you got to hear it like it is. Uh, she misses the first free throw. Here she gets in with her black socks and her black shoes and her navy and This is the second, shirt. and the rebound goes to Tiana Grissom, who pushes it up the court. Finds number 44, who brings it in and gets stripped by number 25 or man. 15 for the St. Pius Golden Lions and gives it back to number 25, who brings the ball down the court. 25 is almost laughing as she just embarrasses her defender. 23 is just hanging out there. And you know what? If nobody's going to guard her, she might as well just stay up top. She dribbles in. Number 25 keeps it up top with Tiana. And it looks like they're going to hold press. the ball until. Oh, and she throws it right away. Maddie Richardson goes in. And oh, she gets denied. But is fouled in the process. And she's going in for two. She's crashing into the students that are lining the. the in the bound, out of bounds, Mark Burr. A quick timeout right now in this game.
looks like as all the parents for the senior boys game are lining up here, getting ready, and it looks like we have the parents of Donald Chaldon here. The Don, the Don. He doesn't play that much, folks, but you know what? He's got a great personality. And when it comes down to in life, what would you rather have, a good set of basketball skills or a great personality? I'm taking the personality, Cam. Without a doubt. <laughs> Folks, local folk legend Sam Fishman has officially entered the building in a toga outfit. I wish anybody could see this sight as he is a big ginger and we all love him very dearly in the production. <laughs> You know what, guys? The free throw. Guys, I don't want to say anything, but all of a sudden, this game is a nine-point game. 25 brings it down. With a minute to go, I don't think they're going to be able to do much, especially since it's a high school game with the running clock. That is true. That is true. Oh, wide with, open. Especially not with that kind of defense by the War Eagles. Uh, St. Pius scores another basket, making the score 59-48 to 48 with 42.5 seconds. Blocking foul called against St. Pius, and it looks like they're going to line up for two shots, which is just, just a little bit of a careless foul, which they should just let the clock run out, saying they've solidified this game. Bam, bam, bam goes down the basketball in the in the, the rim as Tiana jars that first one with 42.5 seconds left in the entire game. As she goes, she goes for the second shot. And she drains it like it was nobody's business. Here goes the Warrior goes with their full court press, trying to make something happen. And they do a quick foul with 39.5. Three seconds left in this one, folks. Number 25 drains it from the foul line, of course, because, you know, it's 25. She ain't going to miss. Pretty sure season stand, she's at, like, 92%. I don't even know how that's possible, but it is. She shot a lot of foul shots in her day. And she drains the second one, of course. All right, Tiana brings it up the court. She's kind of not really pressing as much as we thought she would. She's just looking for the open person right now. Maddie's got it up top. She passes it in. Who passes it straight away to number 25 of the like St. Pius Lock. St. Pius is going to... Oh! Hard foul. There might be a brawl, but there won't be tonight. Maybe in that boys game, though, if somebody gets a little too rowdy. Some people just don't know when to quit, and it seems like number 20, Maddie. And here we have some of the varsity players entering the building as uh, we see Donald Chaldon entering, as well as Solomon Mangum and Corey Busta Hicks. As his friends call him, the Don, which means sir, if you watch The Godfather. It's Italian for sir. He is respected by his peers so much, and... As number 25 drains the first free throw. Of course, of course. All right, Woodward's about to inbound the ball, inbound, inbound the ball with it being 50 to something, 63. <laughs> and you know what, folks? You can go ahead and say this one's over. I think so. We'd like to thank our sponsors, and we'd like to thank yep. Woodward Academy and St. Pius, both great institutions for the we'd like to give a shout academics. Out to, we'd like to give a shout-out to our sponsors, BF Goodrich Tires, Laffy Taffy by Willy Wonka. Um, we also got the Wave Basketball, which has been provided to all of the players, free of charge. Don't know if that's a 
recruiting violation or not, but you know what? They went ahead and did it. They went ahead and did it. And signing and off for this game. game, Cam Andre and Sideline Show. We'll see you next week. Good night, folks, and good luck to the boys.